हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो टूडे आई विल कम विद दी न्यू इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ए डब्ल्यू एस सी डी के टिल नाउ यू माइट नो अबाउट दी टेराफॉर्म और समथिंग एज ए इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एज अ कोड ओके सो इन दिस सेशन आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दी ए डब्ल्यू एस सी डी के इट्स बेसिकली क्लाउड डेवलपमेंट किट डिजाइन बाय और डेवलप बाय ए डब्ल्यू एस इट सेल्फ इट्स ओपन सोर्स टूल ओके सो इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स और यू नो बेनिफिट्स फॉर यूजिंग to deploy your this whatever resources you want to deploy with a minimum code okay and it will generate uh, you no know, cloud formation template and deploy the actual resources in target aws accounts okay so in this session we will see end to end process how the cdk works okay how to initialize the projects okay and uh, <clears throat> what is cdk obviously so it's as i said cdk is basically as a full form cdk is a stands for cloud development kit and it's a open source software developed by aws itself uh, it work as a infrastructure as a code like uh, in earlier video i i was you know explain about the multiple uh, infrastructure as a code like cdk cloud formation terraform like that okay so it's the same way cdk is a infrastructure as a code similar to terraform it supports uh, multiple languages as you can see typescript javascript python okay microsoft.net go language c sharp language okay so you can use any of this language to write down your infrastructure code then we can use certain commands in the cdk as a similar way in terraform okay we need to synthesize the uh, synthesize the projects then bootstrap the project for the cdk then <clears throat> in the back end it will generate cloud formation template in the aws account okay then finally it will deploy resources by using cloud formation template okay so we will see uh, in coming session uh, say, uh, slides now we will see how cdk works okay as i said it's work as you know uh it's internally used cloud formation template it uh, directly not go to the cdk to direct deployment it will uh, generate the cloud formation template and use that template to deploy the resources okay <clears throat> so you are basically your code will convert into cloud formation template so if you uh, see the structure of the cdk uh, projects basically it has uh, you know it will uh, con it contains app constructs and stack so what is that okay we will see in the coming uh, slides what is the app construct and uh, stack you can just see the application and in the, in application there are multiple constructs constructs is basically group of aws services like ec2 load balancer route 53 secret manager so a s3 bucket rds database kind of okay so <clears throat> we will see some examples as well to understand the end to end process for the cdk okay so we need to first run the cdk synth command to synthesize the application projects okay it will generate basically s3 bucket and the cloud formation template okay to deploy your resources okay so as <clears throat> in this example we will see end to end functionality how cdk works so we can write down our infrastructure code by using any of these languages typescript javascript python java c sharp and dot net okay so we will have a constructs a stack basically inside stacks we we will have multiple constructs okay constructs is, construct is basically group of aws services basically i simple as group of aws services okay so once we write down the code in the construct for the multiple services then we need to run aws synthesize command to synth or uh, generate the cloud formation template okay so cloud cloud formation template will help out to deploy our resources okay so another example to understand more clearly how the cdk works okay we will have a cdk projects inside inside that we will have a application we will definitely have a stacks over there okay inside stacks we will have a multiple aws services okay then we need to run cdk synth command to generate the cloud formation template okay then as in <clears throat> terraform we run you know terraform plan or apply command to 
deploy the resources similar way we need to run synth command to generate the cloud formation template then we use cdk deploy command to deploy our resources into into aws accounts by using cloud formation okay i hope it's clear now we will see what is the requirement to set up the cdk projects on our local machine okay so we will obviously we will write down the cdk codes on the our local machine okay so to set up the this cdk projects we need first node.js 14 version at least okay then we will use aws cli a latest version basically to configure our aws im user for authentication okay then we will use visual studio as a ide as you can aware of the you know some of the ide tools like similar way, visual studio pycharm and web webstorm like that okay so you can use any of them as you familiar with that okay so i am using visual studio it is a great tool another prerequisites like as i said by using aws cli we can authenticate to our aws account uh, i am using ima user for that to authenticate the cdk projects to aws account so now we will see how to initialize this project <clears throat> as of now we will see how the end-to-end -end workflow now we will see what steps to follow to initialize the cdk projects okay so we need to first create the cdk project folder we need to enter into that particular folder okay whatever we have created then we need to install package cdk package by using npm install okay then as i said i am using typescript programming language to write down the, my uh, resource infrastructure code basically so i am installing the typescript programming language to support the cdk projects okay we need to run cdk bootstrap to you know generate the cloud formation template and you know s3 bucket inside the aws account so cdk itself he create s3 bucket to manage their changes okay so once we synthesize and deploy the use you know execute the deploy command our resources whatever we have written in the cdk projects okay so it will deploy to aws account so now we will see the folder structure basically once we initialize the pro project it will see similar you will see similar way okay there will be a bin folder leaf folder test folder okay cdk.json file package.json file so what is that what is this meaning of this folder and files so it will basically the the bin folder is basically the root of the projects where we mention define the application name okay and it will load the our main leaf folder uh, configuration basically whatever we have whatever we have written the stacks uh, you know services we want to deploy we, so we will need to define that services in the leaf folder okay this is the main configuration folder basically uh, whatever uh, resources we need to we want to deploy we need to define in the leaf folder okay so test folder is basically project related test cases we can write down in test folder okay and then cdk.json file is ultimately you know we can write down the environment variables over there if suppose we have a multiple aws accounts like dev test and production so we can write down the environment variables in cdk.json file okay definitely we will see when we you know coming session when we generate the initialize the projects and we do some deployments okay to create the s3 bucket or ec2 instance you know uh, and for the package.json package.json contains basically uh, project related dependencies like packages and their version okay so whatever the packages we need to install with the to support the project basically you know so we need to define in package.json okay so node modules is basically whatever we have pack mentioned here in package.json package name and version and we run the command npm install then it will, it will install the packages inside the and it will present in node modules okay so <clears throat> as of now we have seen the cdk uh, what is the cdk how it works you know how to initialize the projects 
like that so now we have a requirement like to create a two web server basically in different availability zone for failure for first or high availability then we can we need to create a load balancer with ssl certificate for secure traffic and we need to define the port forwarding from load balancer so traffic should route from https pa packet to http 80 port okay why 80 port because on the target server we are not going to install any ssl certificate that is the reason we need to uh, forward this port or we can configure the route traffic from 443 to 80 port okay and we need to define the daily backups for at least you know one week retention period why we need backup because you know for the failure purpose or if something goes wrong with the servers so we can at least recover the data from backup servers okay and we will <coughs> map domain name you know as you can see the domain name http slash web.awsguruji.net okay so to define this requirement i have created one architecture diagram as you can see I, I have already created the uh, you know video how to draw the drag draw the diagram by using draw.io website okay you can uh, find in the description box as well okay so we, we user will hit this web dot uh, aws .net, so it will route through the you know uh, dns server and then load balancer and load balancer always send the traffic by using round robin method to the uh, healthy state uh, ec2 instance okay so first request, uh, request suppose it will send to the availability zone you know ap south 1a then second request will goes to b okay so it, it will it will alternatively send the traffic to the healthy healthy state ec2 instance basically okay so this is the workflow requirement basically we can configure through aws cdk so it's a very interesting topic basically so we will see in the next session how to define this uh, architecture uh, and deploy the, our resources okay so if you have any questions you can definitely ask in the comment box so as <clears throat> whatever the possible or wherever the possible for me i will definitely try to answer your questions okay so you can get the benefits so I hope you like the video so definitely like share and subscribe and we will see in the next session okay thank you